do with the circulation form of Green's theorem. We're relating the vector line integral for circulation that we already know to a double integral over some region R in the plane. And we're getting a quantity that measures rotation at each point within this region R. So here is our theorem. We want to let C be a simple, closed, smooth curve oriented in a counterclockwise direction that encloses a connected and simply connected region R and R2. So what does this look like? We have a uh, simple, closed, smooth curve. So we know if it's simple, that means it has no intersections. If it's closed, it has the same initial and end points. It's oriented in that counterclockwise direction. And with this region being connected and simply connected, that means that it's in one piece with no holes. So we'll say here is such a curve oriented in a counterclockwise direction. And then within this curve is that region R that we're thinking about. All right. So we now want to go ahead and assume that some vector space in R2 where its components have continuous first order partials. Then we're able to state the theorem. So we have the circulation integral that we already know from vector line integrals. So we have the closed curve of the vector field f dotted with the differential d vector r. And we can think about an alternative form here for our circulation. This is the integral of the, over the closed curve c of f dx plus g dy. And Green's theorem tells us that this is equivalent to the double integral over the region r of the partial derivative of g with respect to x minus the partial derivative of f with respect to y, dA for our area differential. And we want to make a little love note here to ourselves that this is where the integrand of our double integral, the partial derivative of g with respect to x minus the partial derivative of f with respect to y, is called the curl. This is the curl of our vector field. So the curl is a factor that describes the rotation of the vector field within the curve that produces the circulation on C. So we can say that curl is the factor that describes the rotation of the vector field within the curve, so within C or on the region R, that produces the circulation on the curve. So this is the circulation form of Green's theorem. So to get us warmed up, let's look at a quick example. In this example, we are asked to compute the curl of the radial vector field, vector f defined by the components x, y. And then once we have the curl, we want to interpret the results and determine what does this tell us about the circulation of a simple closed curve. So recalling what the radial vector field looks like, we remember that for every vector in this field, each vector is pointing outwards from the origin. So even before we begin or before we compute the curl, we have a good idea that, that the circulation here should be zero. There's no rotation. But let's confirm that by calculating our curl. And so we recall from Green's theorem, we know that our curl is equivalent to the partial derivative of g with respect to x minus the partial derivative of f with respect to y. And so here we are given a vector field, the radial field, in the plane with components defined as x, y. So we can see that the partial derivative of f with respect to y is 0. The partial derivative of g with respect to x is 0. So therefore, the curl it would be 0 minus 0, which is 0. So our intuition was correct. And if we think about the vector line integral for our circulation over a closed curve, 
and use the equivalent form of Green's theorem here, we can see that the circulation of this radial field is zero. So what does this tell us about the circulation of simple closed curves? So if the curl is equal to zero, then we know that there exists no rotation of the vector field within C. So there exists no rotation of our radial vector field within this closed simple curve, which implies that there's no circulation on the curve. And last but not least, if the curl is equal to zero, we say that the vector field is irrotational. So these are three important conclusions that we've observed from this cute warm-up example.